And what is up everybody, Jeremy here, excited to bring to you another Starfield shipbuilding video. Today we have the Nighthawk X3 coming at ya. A long overdue, uh, like, I guess, updated rendition of the ship. Trying some new things out and showing you some new things. Because if there's anything that might be interesting to you, is that this piece does have nine crew space. And you see one galactic control station, one cockpit, and underneath that is just... A Nova Galactic all one berth. So we're going to go over to show you how we do that. But yes, if you want to find all the parts that we use in this build, you can find it in a Google Sheet, which is linked in the description below. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channels. Everything does help out. And yes, once again, this is a glitched, glitched ship build. And you can find a nice guide video, a video guide, that goes over all the glitches we like to use and more examples of how to use them found in the description below as well. So yeah, let's get to this build, everybody. Um, let's see, is there anything I want to do? I mean, how do I want to split this up? Do I want to even split it? Do I even want to try? <laughs> let's try. <laughs> I was like, let's try. Let's do it. Oh, I selected it. So I am going to split it up to its two main sides. Or three main parts, sections. Middle, port side, and starboard side. I guess I didn't, I didn't really need to. All right, anyway. Um, starting with the first piece. It's gonna be our hope for landing bay. And to the front of this, we're also gonna attach two Horizon weapon mounts. And they both have the PV0175 Alto Hellion Beam already attached. To the top of this, we're going to bring over the Armstrong Cockpit. And to the front of this, we're going to bring over the Hope Tech Companion Way Fuselage A with two Vanguard Obliterator Auto Projectors already attached. This needs to be glitched in. These guys are glitched pieces as well. So I'm just going to move it here temporarily. Um, to the front, of the Hope Tech Companion Way, we're gonna bring over a Nova Galactic all in one berth. Underneath that, we have a 110 DP Docker. To the back of that, we have a Deimos Bellions Aft Orientation, but actually we're gonna move in the Hope 5 landing gear first. Yeah, Hope 5 landing gear in first, and then we're gonna just do a flip glitch this one into the spot right here. So flip glitch rules are one. You need to have the module already in the work area, all right? If you duplicate it, you need to make sure that piece, if you ever duplicate a piece, make sure you place the piece in the work area first. If you ever go like, go that route to duplicate a piece. Two, um, you need to have a free and available snapping point to snap to. If you are clipping something in the area, it needs to have one that needs to attach to. So it can attach there. You can see it kind of locks into place. And then, or snaps into place, because it's a snapping point, A. And then number three, you need to flip it. So I'm tapping Z on the keyboard to be able to flip it. So there's another glitch that's very similar is the variation glitch. So Z is a flip through different different types of orientations and three, or, and variations, just going through different variations. Let me see, is there something here that has different variations? No, oh, this one does. So variation, I'm going through the variations there. Flipping, I'm just flipping like sides, so yeah. Generally, flip glitch, variation glitch, same basic rules. It's just that you're just, you say, it's just you're either going through the flips or you're going through the variations <laughs> to go through. So yeah, um, so bring it in, tap Z to flip it once, tap Z to flip it twice, then escape or cancel the movement by tapping escape or tap, and it keeps it in there. Double click, make sure everything is in there, and it is. I'm gonna show you how to do the same thing with the controller. We're gonna select the module by tapping A, bring it over, flip it once by tapping Y, flip it again by tapping Y again, then tap B to cancel, tap LB to select, make sure everything's in good, and everything's good. Boom. Okay, so that is the flip glitch. Next piece we're gonna move in is right here. This is the secret. There were actually two control stations merged into each other. So the reason why I did this is because, I mean, it just gives you a chance to have more crew members. So if I add another second one, I have nine crew members, which like eight is the max. So that's totally where you want to go with. Um, but yeah, and I wanted to save space. So I decided to merge in here. So word of caution here 
is that you don't want to set this um, like a, a merged control station or any merged um, hab modules if it creates doors right if it, if it has a door in the spot then it might cause issues like the, like if you want to work inside your hab or whatever do inside do something inside that hab well you can't access it like like it basically creates two doors so yeah everything inside the module is duplicated as well so what I'm gonna do here is use the duplication buddy glitch and merge these together so I'm creating a buddy stack so the rules for the duplication buddy glitch is one you need to be able to duplicate the module two you need to set up your floating buddies right here and you oh, okay you also need to line the module that to the spot where you want to merge it into yep and that you want to make sure you I'm, I'm, I'm basically merging it so it's right on top of this so it's trying to share the same spots or snapping points that the Nova Galactic has with the control station above it all right for your helper buddies you need to have a module that has both a top and bottom snapping point and to force this one to go down I'm like for any duplication or any glitch for that matter it likes to move into an open and available snapping point so what I want to do is block off the snapping points because I'm going to use this guy to duplicate and this one has bots available underneath so that's what I'm trying to do is use the snapping points underneath this control station so that I can merge it down with each other so do just duplicate it boom I'm going to show you how to do the same thing with controller real quick so I'm going to hit undo so with controller wait did I, did I explain how to do that <laughs> so with, with keyboard and mouse select the module you want to duplicate then hit shift hold shift then click and then drag over the piece that you want to uh, uh, additionally select then hit control G to duplicate it it duplicated up anyway oh that's right because this I need I need to cover this top uh, these two snapping points too so now it only has one way to go is down so select it click shift click drag select the other piece control G to duplicate it and that's how you do it so I'm gonna escape that now with controller tap RB move over to the next one tap RB and also make sure your cursor is over one of the modules that you want to duplicate that you are duplicating tap Y to duplicate tap A to accept it and there it is now you can delete all these little helpers and you'll see there's two in there Eight. all right now I'm gonna flip glitch this this guy in so move the weapons flip it in bring the weapons back there you go Hey. All right, other than that, I'm going to bring over the 104DS Magnet Inertial Reactor and the R3000 Alpha Grab Drive. Just bring it over. Boom. Then we have the Spine A and the Spine C. With, and the Spine C has three Exterminator 95 MEV Auto Helium Beams attached to it. Bring it over to the top. Bring the Deimos Tail A to behind that. And then the Deimos Skeg A in its aft orientation underneath the tail. Nice. And then bring over the Vanguard Bulwark Shield Generator on top of there on top of the control station so you do have options here if you like if you don't like seeing this you can always hide it in here and just use a duplication buddy glitch to merge it down inside so yeah I would this is what you do you just move it here duplicate it down inside under like yeah like yeah that's it and then there you go there you go you would have it hidden all right next piece and work on the sides okay so first thing I did was I moved over this piece right here and then I brought in one of these horizon weapon mounts bring it over push that one in move it out bring over the Nova braking engine so now I basically created a snapping point there but you still need this guy to, to hold it in place so flip glitch that one in then we have these two pieces flip glitch that one in because it's, it's clipping this weapon right here bring the other demos um, bumper in as well and I'm kind of using the, the duplication buddy glitch but I'm not using a floating module because this piece has an open available spot underneath it so if I select both of these pieces right so I'm just holding shift click drag on both of these two for controller you just tap RB on both of those and then duplicate down and boom there it is 
All right, so using that open slot that's already there. Um, then I'm gonna bring over this guy, and then I, for this guy, I need to duplicate Buddy either up or down. So up to you where you wanna be. All right, so I'm gonna do it up. Get my helper Buddy stacked. Just like this, shift click drag, duplicate up, boom. Delete this, keep my Buddy stack. I have another purpose for it later. Bring over the Nova Cowling. Right there. I didn't, I didn't need to flip that in. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Hold on a second, guys. Ah, uh, do I have to just do it over? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I do. Shoot. Oh no, I got, I got a way. I got a way. I don't have a way. Never mind. I don't have a way. Oh, I do. I might have a way. No, I don't. <laughs> Wait, no, I do. <laughs> Make up your mind, Jeremy. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is the way. This is the way. Um, I need a module. I need a. I need like a standard. So I'm, I'm solving problems. So this, this is probably not the best way to do it. I should have moved that in first. What do you mean you can't? Oh, it's, are these guys? Oh, no wonder. <laughs> Duplicate is down. Dupe another, another one. Oh, oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. There you go. So I just use the duplication glitch to merge it in right there. I'm gonna bring this one down. Bring this guy over. There you go. And then I should, should be able to select both. Perfect. I'm gonna delete this one underneath. I should be able to duplicate that one up. Boom! Hey. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. I, I, I move this one out though. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I have a method. All right. I'm gonna move it. I should have just undid back a while ago, but I didn't. Oh well. So I'm trying to solve problems by using glitching techniques. Hey, there we go. Duplication glitch that one up. Whew. Pushing one to the side. Flip glitch that one in. Bring this guy to the side. This is the Hercules DT160 engine. So these in this engine and these three Exterminator 95 MEV auto helm beams can be purchased at Stroud Eklund. Um, this Hope Tech Companionway fuselage can be purchased at Hope Town. All right, let's do the other side correctly. Shall we? Shall we do the other side correctly? I think we shall. So let's go ahead and flip glitch, what, flip glitch this one in first. Bring this to the side. All right, that's what we should have done first. All right, let's break this piece up, bring this piece up. Bring this over, flip glitch that one in, nice. Bring over the horizon weapon mount. Flip glitch that one in, nice. Pull this out, bring over the Nova Breaking Engine, flip that one in, nice. Bring in the Demo Swing A, flip that one in, nice. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, nice, nice. Um, this, yeah, this can go in now. No, I, I don't want to do that, no. All right, so what I'm gonna do is bring in the bumpers, bring that up top first. Okay, let me flip this one in first. There, bring it in. Duplication, but, uh, duplication buddy, already there, but connected. <laughs> do that, bring over the, gra uh, the what's this called? Sh shielded cargo, the Gamma 1000 shielded cargo hold. Use my help, my buddy stack here, duplicate it up, perfect. Bring over the M50 Ulysses HE3 tank, bring it over, flip, that, flip glitch that one in, bring over the Nova Cowling, bring over the Hercules DT160 engine, bring over the Pinpoint 3G landing gear, flip glitch that one in, double click, make sure everything's connected. Everything's not, it's fine. It's fine, because we're gonna use the helpful tent from Mark Bridges. <laughs> right? <laughs> Mark Bridger? Uh-oh. <laughs> it's like, it's like, uh-oh. Uh-oh. I, I, I thought I, I thought I remembered it. I don't, I don't have it fully remembered. Mark Bridgman, 6'2". 6245. <laughs> Mark Bridgman 6245. Here we go. This is the cool trick, guys. See that? It's showing that it's just not connected right now. So what you do is select the whole ship. On a keyboard, you hit spacebar, and you get this. 
on controller, you tap A. So select the whole ship by tapping LB on the controller, tap A, and you'll get this. When things like start showing up as like green, that means it's con trying to connect that piece, which is not like, which is kind of connected, but not fully connected. Like it's right there. And just hit enter or A on the controller. And then double click and you see that everything is not connected. Okay, let's try it again. There you go. Now it's connected. So yeah, just you might need to do it multiple times. But if you see that when you hit space and you see some green stuff, that means it's, start, it's trying to connect. But that is it, everybody. That is your... Um, I call this Nighthawk X3. <laughs> Let's go take a quick tour. All right, so this is the interesting thing. Um, we are we do have control two control stations in one spot. So let's take a look, see, see how this looks. So I did this before in another build that I was trying out before. So, or <laughs> I did this before with another build that was like well, it was testing. It was just testing. It wasn't actually something I, I published. But yeah, here we go. We have the cockpit. We have our uh, fuselage companionway. We have air, our, nice day, what? Yeah. our, what is it called? All-in-one berth hab. I must yeah. confess. And up top I'm here, we have control. our dual um, control station. So there's two chairs in this spot. And what's funny is sometimes your NPCs might be sitting on top of each other. And <laughs> so that's something that could happen. So this is the reason why you want to have a ladder going into it and be its own isolated spot. So if there's like a door right here, you need to try to go through two doors. And sometimes you're not able to. Sometimes you're not able to like open the second door. So that's, that's what could happen. Um, Especially if you have it attached to your landing bay or a docker, like, well, I, mean, I think the docker might be okay. Yeah, no, no, it's not. So yeah, like if you try to attach it to like a landing bay, like you might see one open up but not both. So it might cause issues there. So that's why if you do choose to glitch um, a hab in with itself, then you should do it with a ladder going through it otherwise it might have issues like if you I mean I guess if, if you don't care about anything that's inside and you just go straight to the cockpit and then you use the cockpit to exit or yeah if you use if you go through the, uh, the cockpit controller to exit out or whatever then um then yeah I guess that's not an issue but if you do plan to move around your ship you want to make sure any duplicated have needs to have an isolated ladder go through it and I tried this other crazy thing, like how many times can I duplicate a hab? It gets really glitchy if you go a lot, um, if you duplicate a lot more. So notice, if you did notice, I don't know if you noticed, but this room, see notice this is a, this is, this is a Nova Galactic all in one hab. This is the control station. Notice how brighter, how much brighter this one is compared to this sure, one. Cause it's be using, it's setting up, it has two pairs of lights as well. So just FYI, it, like I, I tried duplicating a whole bunch of them, and it's like super bright. And if like here you go, if like hit like hit one of these, there should be two of them. Yep, there's two of them, and it's, they're kind of interacting with each other. <laughs> I never tried that before. <laughs> ne never seen that happen before. Oh, is it? Nope. Nope. So we'll think each Oh, oh, there it goes. All right. So that's what happens, guys. Let's go ahead and take a seat. What's new? Let's go ahead and bring out our fun battle music. And don't forget, if you want to find all the parts we use in this build, you'll find it in the Google Sheet, which is linked in the description below. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, as everything does help out. Let's take this bad boy into battle. Hey, 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 hey.
All right, let's get our things uh, properly powered up. I guess it's fine. So yeah, Class B engines. So it's a little bit slower, but it's still really good. Yeah, let's go take this bad boy to Crix. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hey! See this bad boy to Cricks. Start here this time. Oh. <laughs> Let's start grab driving. Don't forget once again to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Show yourself. First three. Oh, they're boosting. Boost from this. Hey. One more set, everybody. Let's see if there's any hostile activity. No hostile activity. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. <laughs> it's like, it's so cool, so, so legit, so smooth. Everybody, and that was your Nighthawk X3. Hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. Of course, if you want to find all the parts that we used in this build, you can find it in a Google Sheet, which is linked in the description below. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channels. Everything does help out. Hi, Rizzo. an amazing day, everybody. We'll see you all next time. Peace out. And thank you so much for all the love and support. As always, without you, we just wouldn't be doing what we're doing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. See you again real soon, guys. Peace.